I'm not sure how to put it, but... I always feel refreshed after a job well done. A 3D body isn't so bad in its nude state, I suppose. Aw, oh, this is so sleazy. But still, I just can't believe it. Like, for serious. Ogre's a girl? You guys are being rude! Was this... really okay? Okay, I will say it's okay because it's a game, it's a video game. And nobody, nobody was hurt, but oh my god. <laughs> well, I looked too, so I guess I'm gonna have to say yes. Meanwhile, we heard the buzzing of busy noises growing louder. Oh, they're coming back. The girls had finished their baths and joined us in the dining hall. Oh man, what a nice bath! Getting a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time was a true pleasure. Indeed. Oh, even Kyoko agrees. I would have thought that Kyoko would be totally the type that doesn't really say much around other people, which she doesn't. But uh, it looks like, you know, she still gets along with the girls and does girl things. Normally, after a long bath, I like to make myself a nice protein coffee, but... Sorry, no time for that! That's what I figured. We were just seeing in the bath how it was about time for you to get up to something. After seeing how happy we were, an evil little monster like you would never let that last for long. You're so terrible to me! <laughs> Everyone's so cold and mean, even after I got presents for you all! Presents? Have I got your attention? Boop boop boop! Then let's head to the gym where your presents await! No questions, no dilly dolly and get a move on and everything will become clear! I hate to say it, but Monokuma is... If you forget about all the killing tendencies, he's actually kind of cute. It's, it's actually pretty infuriating. What is it? What are you scheming this time? He's probably going to repeat the same thing again. Providing us with a motive to get things moving. Again? I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. <sighs> just when the girls had some time to relax and just some downtime too. God. <sighs> Me neither. I'm like totally traumatized. Demo. It's okay. We have Alter Ego. I'm sure he'll find something that'll help us. So for now, so. we have to just endure it. Come what may. Where's Toko, by the way? Oh, okay. Hey, are you not Genocide Jack anymore? <laughs> With heavy feet, we made our way to the gym. But when we arrived, there was already someone waiting for us. Nanda. To be kept waiting by the likes of you. Rest assured, if we had access to firearms, you'd all be dead. Eh, if I knew you were waiting for me, I would have taken even longer. Byakuya, did you get here early? Huh. <laughs> Did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're late? It's simple. Right foot, left foot, right foot. <laughs> the same as always, I see. Her, on the other hand. <laughs> oh, she's back to her Debbie Downer self, huh? <laughs> I heard what sounded like a sneeze and she was back to her old self. <laughs> so now she goes from manic to depressive whenever she sneezes? Seems kind of late to add that into the mix. <laughs> Why does everyone keep making fun of me? Aw, no one's making fun of you, Toko. You're awesome. I hope you all win the lottery and get hit by a bus. Thanks. Uh. So when you want to say something mean, then you can talk, huh? Daga. Anyway, it looks like everyone's here. Ja. Which means... Hello, Headmaster. It looks like everyone's here, so then, let's get started! Come on, out with it. What kind of motive have you prepared for us this time? Whatever you subject us to, we will not break. Yeah, that's right! We're not gonna lose to you ever again! Boop, boop, boop! You don't have to get so defensive! Calm down! I've decided to change things up a bit this time. 
Up till now, I've been using the whoosh of the north wind to get you all moving. But sometimes you gotta use the sun to light a fire under someone's butt! <laughs> so without further ado, I give you... This! Money! What? Are we really gonna be motivated by greed? We can't even buy anything in here, right? Ten million dollars! I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. And what do you think? It's ten million bucks! Ten million spankaroos! Okay, well, what do I think? <laughs> they... <laughs> As high school students, I don't think they would think about this, but the first thing I think is tax. If I graduate and I take this money outside, the freaking tax agency is gonna take like 60% of it, so not worth it. It's totally like wow, 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 am I right? So that's the motive you've prepared, is it? Ten million dollars is <laughs> of course. It's not nearly enough. When it comes to motives, money certainly is the gold standard, so to speak. Whether it's in a mystery novel or the real world. But... There's no way we'd kill each other for money! She's right. You can't simply purchase a person's life. You can say 10 million or however much. I don't give a crap for serious. Uh, I don't know, man. Do you want to buy a new crystal ball? Yeah, they're all right. Whether it's 10 million or any other amount of money. No, not even just money. From now on, no matter what you do, we won't kill our friends. Come on, stop trying to act tough. The most important life is to live a pure and moral communal life. Monokuma disappeared leaving his words on stage with the massive sum of money. There's nothing to worry about, right? Nobody would kill a friend for money, right? That's like absolutely the worst reason so far, so I would be really, really disappointed if someone kills someone just for the money this time. <laughs> oh wait! Celeste! Celeste is a gambler! Oh no! Have you so quickly forgotten the lesson from last time? You can't judge others by your own standard. Notice that Celeste hasn't said a single thing so far. Yeah, there might be someone here who's having money problems. Oh, okay. Hmm. Personally, I've earned over one million dollars from my gambling efforts. My life is... comfortable. Comfortable is not the word a gambler would use when they're happy, right? Cuz... If I'm a gambler and I I have one million dollars in assets and there's ten million in front of me, <laughs> I might be tempted. <laughs> Shit for me. What about you? I'm a super popular content creator. I don't have any problem making enough to buy my comics and DVDs. Boy, just stop. Pressing others about their personal finances is ugly. Uh, ugly? Oh no, she's gonna think we called her ugly. <laughs> Don't worry. Either way, whatever's gonna happen will happen without warning. That is the nature of this game. Nighttime? It's that time already, huh? Ne. Before we separate, let me remind you. Oh, but now Byakuya and Toko will know that Kyoko will open her door too. Starting tonight, I'll be leaving my room door open to make sure nothing happens to alter ego. But just because my door is open, don't assume that will make me an easy target. Or the predator may suddenly find itself the prey. Her voice was calm and composed, but it was clear she meant what she said. Dabe. Okay, okay. Let's everyone just head back to our rooms. Hey, Byakuya and Toko didn't react to that? And don't think about the whole money thing, got it? Good, then let's break. 
how was that? Pretty good, right, Taka? Holy shit, I completely forgot about Taka. He hasn't said a word, so oh my god. I was wondering <laughs> earlier in the bathhouse why there were so few guys, but I only remember that we didn't have Byakuya with us. Oh my god, I forgot. I am so sorry, Taka. Oh no, this guy! He needs, like, therapeutic help! Seriously. As soon as I was back in my room, I crawled into bed. Money. There's no way that's gonna get anyone to kill anyone else. I told myself that, but deep in my heart, I was still troubled. After all, I thought the same thing last time, about having our secrets revealed. Even if the reason for it seems completely nonsensical, a murder can still happen. That's the lesson we learned. But this time... This time, it's different. I'm sure of it. Because of the program Shihiro left behind, Alter Ego. We finally have some small hope to grasp onto. Hmm. Hope. I almost feel like... There's no way the mastermind doesn't know about the computer, because, like I said, the cameras... There may not be a camera inside the bathhouse, but there are cameras leading into the bathhouse, so... Uh, maybe this is a way for the mastermind to let us have some hope, and then he'll crush it when we least expect him to. He or she. As long as we have that, then I'm sure... Little kids have it so easy. Cause they can put Lil in front of their name. And right off the bat, everyone thinks they're cute. Why is that important? Well fine then, I want everyone to start calling me Lil Monokuma. See? Just by adding that, my cuteness goes up by at least like 10%, right? Yeah, the world doesn't have nearly enough Lils. More Lils would lead to the salvation of the world. Just imagine, Lil Arsonist, Lil War Criminal, Lil Destruction of the Environment, Lil Hit and Run, Lil Death Tax, Lil Great Depression. Even the darkest subject can suddenly become brighter. Oh my god, that was the good lamest pun ever. Our dreams are expanding, ding, ding! Well then, I guess I should head to the dining hall. Kyoko? The thing is, Kyoko has her door open, but is she staying up the entire night? Because that would be pretty taxing. And if she's asleep, if she goes to sleep and she's still so confident that nothing will happen to her, then, oh my god, then I'm in love. <laughs> You should probably take some notes, Makoto. Okay, no going back to sleep. Can we put things- can we, like, get into the habit of putting things onto tables and stuff? Our room is so barren compared to, um, Aoi's room that we saw earlier. Her room was filled with a lot of things. Hmm. Girls, though. Girls have a lot of stuff. Oh, Kyoko's door's not open! What's up? What's up? Good morning, Sakura. Uh. Did you just wake up? Yeah. It's only seven, man. Waking up for a breakfast meeting is fine, of course, but getting up a little early is better. You can exercise in your room till nighttime ends. A big meal after working up a sweat is divine. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> hey, morning, Makoto! Good morning. You're kind of sweaty. Have you been exercising? Yup, me and Sakura were doing our morning workouts. Oh, but I didn't break our nighttime promise. I just ran around my room till it ended. Why don't you come with us next time? I would love to. I don't think I could keep up with you and Sakura. Eh, it's that, that, it's that mentality of, of being afraid to go to the gym, to start going to the gym because you think the other people will laugh at you, but I don't think they will. They will probably commend you for starting the hobby, so. Oh, seriously? Okay, then we can do something else in the rec room. I'm not good at much, but I do know how to play Othello. <laughs> not very good at that either, though. I don't like to think when I'm playing, so... 
Ah, that's okay. As long as we spend time together, right? Quality time is what matters. Why is Kyoko's room not open? Everyone's meeting up at the dining hall. I should head there myself. I guess she's... It's very timely. Maybe she's already in the dining hall. Hmm. Anyone around here? Seems like that's it. I kind of want to go to the bathhouse to check on Alter Ego, but I doubt we'll be allowed to. It's gonna be like, oh, you should go eat breakfast first. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning. Morning. Actually, it's a great morning! A morning that has blessed my entire future! Really? It feels like any other morning to me. <laughs> Maybe you can't tell, but my soul is positively overflowing with strawberries today! Well, I'm off! That was bizarre. I mean, even for him. I just suddenly remembered this, but has Celeste done anything with the camera? Gotta remember that she's the one who has it. Is Kyoko here, please? Oh, thank god. So, the people here today... ...are the same as yesterday, just us seven. Seven? Wait, there were ten of us, right? So who's missing? Byakuya, Toko, and... ...Taka? Oh. Byakuya and Toko are a lost cause, but... Hello. It looks like Taka has decided to stop coming for good, too. <sighs> it's like he's just... ...given up. For people wound as tight as he is, when you snap, you snap hard. I wish there was some way to make him better. Hmm. On another topic, Kyoko, did everything go alright last night? Hey. Yeah, I didn't have any problems. So. I went and checked on the laptop a little while ago, and there weren't any problems there either, but... Kyoko seemed to hesitate, but... <sighs> it's related to this case, so I suppose I should be blunt. I have to make a new rule. Using Alter Ego without permission is prohibited. Someone going in and out of the dressing room would draw unwanted attention from the mastermind. I would have thought that to be obvious. Why do we need to make a rule about it? Ah, uh, because there's a lot of dumb people here, so if you don't make things explicit, people don't know. So? That's a good question. Did someone go in and use it? No. Ah! Ah, that's why he's so chipper in the morning! He was probably trying to look shit up! Something about strawberries! His little, um, strawberry demon cupcake angel princess whatever thing! Do you have any thoughts on that, Hifumi? N no it's just like you said! We all need to be very careful! <sighs> huh? Whatever, let's just hurry up and eat! We don't have time to stand around flapping our lips! Jeez, why are you talking like pissed off drill sergeant all of a sudden? We all ate breakfast in a rush, then headed back to our rooms. Ah, another another really good point about Kyoko. Not necessarily calling up people, unless if it's absolutely necessary. That's a really, really, really good leadership skill. She would make a good boss. <laughs> What should I do today? Free time! Okay, well, us with all free time. What free time really means. Okay, free time on the outside really means, hey, let's spend some time with our beloved classmates. But what it really is, is murder prediction simulator. So let's try to see who is even available to be talked to. Taka, I said I would spend time with him because I feel so bad about him. Uh, I hope we can even talk to him. Byakuya? We didn't get to talk to him last time, so... <laughs> He's getting even more pissy though, so I, I don't know. Hifumi? Okay, who do we think will die this chapter? You know what? I think it's kind of amazing that our rate of talking to people during free time is really closely aligning with the people that die. I think the only dead person that I haven't talked to at all is Leon, so... <laughs> who do I think will be involved this time? Hifumi. Hifumi. Mmm, who else? Not 
Kyoko, I don't think. We still need her. The fog cutter, right? She still needs to cut fog around us. Are we? Mm, not sure. Usually, from a narrative perspective, the people who have some sort of extra role in that chapter are suspicious, so... Suspicious as in, they might die or they might kill. Celeste? I feel like she, Hifumi. Hifumi for sure is gonna be involved this time, so let's try to find where Hifumi is. Yeah, right there, okay. Yeah, we haven't really talked to Hifumi at all outside of, um, you know, him doing his 2D thing. I don't hate him, though. It seems like he's not a very popular favorite character, but sometimes he's hilarious, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, Mr. Nagi! Funny meeting you here! Mm -hmm. A salute to you! Yoshita. Salute! I just saluted, did you see? That was the Hifumi ultimate salute! Damn! <laughs> it's not making me want to hang out with him, but... Don't judge a book by its cover. Cosplayers these days are totally ignorant of the origin, the history, the significance of their hobby. And if you don't know your history, you can never have a complete cosplay experience. So, Mr. Nagi, prepare for a gloriously detailed history of the cosplay world. Now, in 1955. I listened to Hifumi's half-obsessed ranting for way too long. Ifumi and I grew a little closer today. Hey, I think I mentioned this before, but you know, people who get really into their hobbies, I think that's a great thing. You do you. Hell yeah, let's give him a present. Oh, I'm pretty sure I have some, I don't know, Gundam models or something somewhere, right? Let's see. Wait, I know who to give this to. Asahina Donuts. Um, oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I mentioned that I saw that little figure from- Yeah, 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 this guy, this guy! Demon Angel Princess figure! A collectible figure of Princess Piggles, the popular heroine from Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess. Yeah, hell yeah! I never imagined you'd want to give me something so rare, Mr. Nagi! <laughs> okay. Super god level result. Did I gain some experience with you, Hifumi? Did I level up? Seeing Hifumi so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I see quality in you, Mr. Nagi. True quality. <laughs> and that's why. I've decided to present to you my lecture on the nature of fanfiction. Oh, I'm interested. If we're gonna be friends, you must be fully informed. I will permit no fanfic bigotry whatsoever. I don't have- I don't think I have any fanfic bigotry. I mean, I don't really know anything about that kind of geeky stuff anyway. <laughs> See, there it is! To you, fanfic equals geeky, right? But is that all that word is worth? Huh? Did I say something wrong? <laughs> but that's okay. Because I take the word geek as a compliment. For you see, there is nobody on earth so full of knowledge as a geek. That is true. In a sense, a geek is like an expert. That's right, a total expert. I agree. A successful musician must necessarily be a music geek. A good music director is a movie geek, you see? It's those experts, those geeks, who open up the world to others. So when you say that writing fanfic is geeky, you're recognizing us as true experts. Not only that, but I think fanfic. Usually, any hobby takes a lot more work than it looks like it does. See, knowing how to write a good fanfic, you have to be good at writing in general, good at taking the characterization from the original source material and then transferring it into your own work, etc, etc. So, not at all a simple, quote quote simple hobby. Fanfic is great, unless if you're writing Twilight fanfic and calling it Fifty Shades of Grey, but anyways. Okay, so um, what exactly is fanfic then? Oh, super direct question for the win! <laughs> Basically, we have all kinds of different stores and events, right? These are where groups of holy warriors sell their own stuff based on games, comics, anime, everything. And the stuff those people make is... fanfic? <laughs> comics are the most common creation, but it also includes games, music, and even merchandise. Oh! Oh yeah, I think this is a little bit of a translation... Mm, something that doesn't translate well into English. Cause I'm pretty sure Hifumi's title is not actually Ultimate Fanfic Creator, but Ultimate Doujin. Doujin Products creator. And doujin does include more than just fanfic. 
like he says. <sighs> By the way, there's a name for when a group of fanfic creators come together. A doujin circle? Specifically, it's any organized group that comes together to release their work. A group that comes together, a circle. <laughs> yeah, that was way too easy for a geek like me. <laughs> is it a circle? It sure is! Of course you knew that. I mean, it's only common sense. I certainly hope you don't expect me to explain such common sense topics every time. Hey, tell me some advanced topics. I don't know anything about, like, you know, advanced stuff. Well, like I said, I don't know too much about this stuff. This goes well beyond I don't know too much. But I guess I can't blame you. The propaganda never touches on that. So as a fanfic ambassador... By the time I'm done with you, you'll be itching to buy a premium pass to the next fanfic con. Ah, so we're not actually talking about fanfic here, right? We're talking about more like doujinshi. Fanfic in Japan goes beyond normal fanfic levels. So in normal, normal, <laughs> North America and Europe, I guess, non-Japanese places, normally if you like something, you create a fanfic of it and, you know, you write it online and you put it on fanfiction.net or whatever, right? But no, Japan takes it to the next level. Usually, a lot of people, sure, fanfics are still written online and published online, but for comic books, a lot of creators, illustrators and writers teaming up, they will draw fan comic books. And then that is what is sold at conventions that are geared towards this stuff. Uh, just like YouTube gaming videos, it's a very gray area. They're making money for it, but uh, nobody really shuts them down. Right? Obviously, he's excited, but... <laughs> That's it for today. I hope you're excited for your next lesson. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for the two of us. I'm kind of scared to see what the future has in store for the two of us. <laughs> oh, sweet. Handiwork. That is sweet. Okay. We still have free time, right? Please tell me. Yes? So I think last chapter, did we have about... I think it was four... Whoa. Huh? Sounds like someone's here. Well, I was gonna say we had four or five times, but I guess it's four or five times minus one now. Oh... Taka, I was just gonna go see you. T taka Is it true? Can I really see Chihiro? Huh? You mean Alter Ego? He's still alive? No, not quite. Let me see. I want to talk to him. Taka. The way he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on to him. Kyoko said we're not allowed to use Alter Ego. But... even so... I can't just leave him here like this. Okay, why don't we get going? Can you at least tell Kyoko about this? Can we have some transparency here? If you all want to live together and make it out of here alive, transparency, no secrets, okay? People! Stop making decisions on your own! I can see... Chihiro? Take me. Okay, Taka. Oh shit! <laughs> Speak of the devil! Jesus! <laughs> Where are you going? Huh? No. It's probably best if you don't drag him around with you too much, given his current condition. Kyoko looked at Taka, standing behind me. Yeah, I know that. But I was getting kind of hungry. I thought we could head to the dining hall or warehouse or something. So. Well then, I guess that's okay. Why would you? Makoto, I'm so disappointed in you! Why would you lie like that? I thought I saw a brief flicker of doubt, but maybe it was just our imagination. I am so disappointed in you! Why would you lie? There was no reason to lie! Oh my god, Kyoko is literally the only person who has shown you kindness here. Okay, that's not true, but... She's like... She's always shown herself to be on your side though, that's what I mean, and... You! I can't believe you're lying to her! Slap yourself! Is that... Toko? What are you two up to? Don't tell me you're gonna... Oh, she's thinking boy-on-boy -boy stuff, because... 
we're yeah, Toko, we're gonna go to the bathhouse together. <laughs> Having lost his new brother, Taka is ripe for the taking, so Makoto swoops in to steal him away. <laughs> oh my god. Am I on fire? I severely regretted talking to Genocide Jack, even if by accident. But that doesn't matter right now! Have you seen Byakuya? Uh-huh. No, no, I haven't. Oh, good heavens! My love is being pushed to the limits! <laughs> I don't feel bad. In fact, I want to be around. I want to be around when she starts railing on him. Like, oh, well, I didn't mean it, you know, like, dirtily. I just mean if she starts bothering him. Okay, so there's a laptop inside the locker, understand? And on the laptop, there's a program called Alter Ego. How, how do I talk to him? Oh, um... Well, you just tell me what you want to say, and I'll type it in for you. Do you hate Mondo? And since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me? It was clear he was forcing himself to get the words out. From his mouth, from the bottom of his heart, he forced his weakened voice to make the sounds. Mm. Please. Okay. I typed the questions exactly as Taka had asked them. And then... Do you hold yourself responsible? If Master could talk now, I think this is what he would say. Please, live your life for the both of us. It's impossible for me now, but you can still survive and escape. All of you. Hey, Taka. I was about to say more, but quickly closed my mouth. The one asking those questions is Taka, right? Analyzing all available data, that's the only conclusion I can come to. Master told me how close Taka and Mondo had become. So, that must be why he feels responsible. The screen suddenly went dark. Shit, what did you do? No! And what appeared next was... <gasps> what?! You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of that responsibility, are you? A man's only worth as much as the load he can carry. You get it, right, bro? Hell, what am I saying? Of course you do! That's... I'm sorry if I startled you. That was my attempt at a simulation, using the data about Mondo that Master had given me. I figured if Taka was depressed, that's the kind of thing Mondo would have said to him. So you're just gonna stand there, huh? Just wait for things to get better? Just take your time and get all depressed? Take the time to indulge your regrets? You might even start walking again without realizing it. Sure, that kind of mediocre thinking might work for some people. <laughs> what if I said it with that kind of condescending tone? Um, you should stop. You should stop. Oh. <laughs> Taka? Oh. Whoa. Oh. It's starting to sink in. The way a bucket full of water sinks into a bone-dry sponge. Huh? Those words, deep within my heart, they're inside of me! Oh my goodness, someone just went Super Saiyan. Taka? Where the fudge is Taka? Your eyes! I always thought about Taka, his eyes were very unique, but I guess it does come into play. Hey, don't worry about it. Guess I kind of caused the scene, huh? Shoot, man. And your voice. I'm a new me. Ha! I'm totally stuffed with fighting spirit now, you dumb butt. Okay, Taka, just calm down. I am calm, and don't call me Taka. That's, that's not my name anymore. I'm me. Hi, me. I am me. Taka let out a bone-chilling howl, and ran out of the room. Hey, Taka, hold on! And I took off after him. 
Well, I don't approve of Makoto lying to Kyoko, but I guess we did learn something new here. That apparently Alter Ego can turn into different people? Oh no, don't be Kyoko, please. Please. Oh, I don't wanna... Oh, it's like being scolded by my mother. But someone stood in my way. Oh! <laughs> As if tagging Taka out, she walked briskly into the dressing room. What do you think you're doing? K K Kyoko! Oh, um, no, see? This is just... Don't go around doing whatever you feel like. It causes problems. And not just for me. For everyone. Sorry. So. If you're really sorry, you'll get out of here. Now. Okay. Finally, I headed back to my room, embarrassed and sullen. You should be embarrassed and sullen. We... Oh my god, what is with Taka though? Like, I don't... But still, what was with Taka's sudden freakout? I'm seriously worried about him. Nighttime. Taka is like the type of guy that takes everything so seriously that... He's a very extreme person. One end or the other. Okay, this is great. It's nighttime already. I guess I'll have to wait till tomorrow to figure out Taka's whole thing. And again, you did not tell Kyoko about this. Shame on you, Makoto. Okay, we're gonna take a break right here. See you soon.